Coach Dave Robbins, Virginia Union University. In 30 years as the head coach at Virginia Union, Coach Dave Robbins compiled a remarkable 713-194 record for a 78.6 winning percentage. Now normally, if we're in Mad Dog, if we're in circle or circle scramble and you take this, you gotta drop and be normal, okay? But if we're in Mad Dog and they throw it down there, you go track. Okay? As the first white and coach in CIAA history, he led the Panthers to 14 CIAA conference championships, 25 NCAA tournament appearances, four 30-win seasons, 24 20-win seasons, seven regional championships, seven Final Fours, and NCAA Division II National Championships in 1980, 1992, and 2005. He's been honored with the Virginia Union Lifetime Coaching Award and has been inducted into the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame. Coach Dave Robbins, Virginia Union University, and inductee into the 2017 Class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Please welcome to the stage 2017 Hall of Fame inductee from Virginia Union University, Coach Dave Robbins. It's a tough act to follow Bob. I hate that they're laughing at me back there. I ask them, did anybody else want to go between us? But uh, <laughs> nobody wanted to. But, you know, I've been a big, big fan of Bob for years, and he's got a great story. And I don't think he mentioned it. Uh, it was uh, uh, said at the press conference today that they're going to do a movie of his life. And uh, uh, it, it's well-deserved and uh, looking forward to seeing that. Bob's a, a great guy and was a great, great player. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to try to entertain you. I did want to say a couple of things. I'm often asked, what's the difference in D1 basketball and D2? And then they follow up, is, is D2 basketball um, second class? And I always told them, no, it's not second class. Uh, it's just the size of the school and in some cases the amount of money that um, is spent on the program. But, um, you know, Division II basketball and small college basketball um, has had a whole lot of happy people uh, over the years. Uh, one of our great players, Charles Oakley, said that he could have gone D1 and he probably was sat to bench for two or three years before he got a chance to play. If you go to a small school, you play immediately and you get so much better over a four year period. So um, there's a whole lot to say about small college and um, I think uh, all of the young men here that have chosen a small school will um, learn to appreciate it and uh, will be successful. <clears throat> you know, I've been selected as a coach and, you know, what a humbling experience. Uh, the coaches that have been inducted into this Hall of Fame, uh, starting with Coach Naismith, John McClendon, who actually learned under Coach Naismith, um, uh, Big House Gaines, who I had a, uh, a war with over 20 years playing against. I learned so much from him. He was a, a great coach, and of course the great coach, Don Meyer, who we saw the film on earlier. So I'm extremely humbled to even be mentioned in the same name as them, and I feel inadequate because I haven't accomplished near what they have. But uh, tonight is a night that I just want to thank a few people. I'll take a line from Big House Gaines, I heard him say this one time, and I don't know if uh, the, it was originated by him or someone else, but he mentioned that if you see a turtle on the top of a fence post, you know he didn't get there by himself. So with that said, <laughs> with, <clears throat> with that said, I'd like to thank my parents who taught us right from wrong taught us to respect others and try to treat others like you want to be treated. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife who's here. We've been married 43 years. She's always been my biggest supporter 
and she's also been a, a, a critic of mine. And many a night when I've come home, when I've gotten after a play a little too hard, she will say, well, you need to go back and apologize or you sleep in the car tomorrow night. <laughs> so I would go back and apologize. Um, I have two daughters, Sherry and Julie, who um, have also been very supportive over the years. And I appreciate uh, them coming to so many games and cheering for our teams. Um, I'd like to thank all the coaches that I had growing up from junior high to high school to college. Um, they, they taught us how to play right and, and made me love the game uh, of basketball uh, as well as other sports. But since I became a basketball coach, uh, uh, I thank them for that. I'd like to thank all the assistant coaches that I had over the years. They were very, very loyal. And um, to Virginia Union University and the administration for their support. But most of all, I'd like to thank all of the players that played for us. We've had some great ones. We've had some good ones. We've had some not so good ones. But I'm so proud of all of them. And I light up when I get a phone call and it might be from a young man I hadn't talked to in 20 years. And when I pick the phone up and say hello, first thing he says is coach. So that's, uh, that's very re rewarding to hear that. Um, I'm sure there are many more coaches that were much more deserving than I, but I don't, I don't think there's any that appreciates it as much as I do. Thank you very much.